Raybox is an outstanding model which every school should have in their laboratory. Let us see how we can use it and how to make it. It works on AC current so it is very convenient to use. Use the cardboard slits to produce one ray. Cover the box from the top and switch off the light. You can see that light travels in a straight line. When you place a prism, you can see the incident, refracted and emergent rays. You can clearly see the bending which is called refraction of light. When you place a white screen, you can see the dispersion of light that is a spectrum of seven colors. Be more innovative and place a plain mirror in place of the screen. See the brightness of the colors. I am sure you have not seen it before. Like this. You can also do the Newton's experiment of recombination of the spectrum. Place another identical prism in opposite direction and you will see the seven colors recombined and again you will get white light. I still not able to understand why most of our teachers still using old boring method of teaching ray diagrams by drawing it on the board in spite of these innovative devices. You can verify the law of refraction using plane mirror. You can see the clarity in darkness and be innovative and try to make different shapes using different mirrors. I am using three mirrors to make a triangle. From that one emergent ray. You can produce parallel rays by using ray box. You can see the reflected rays bends towards the center when it is reflected by a concave mirror. You can also see the focus. Where the two reflected, reflected rays intersect each other. See how the reflected rays moves away when reflected by a convex mirror. See the refraction of light when it passes through convex lens and see the focus. Make a ray box in your science project and demonstrate in your class. See how the light is diverge when passes through a convex lens. This self-made ray box is far more efficient than those available on the e-commerce sites at very high prices. Use other household materials like a spoon, bottle to see how the light behaves when it passes through these items. Or reflected through these, it uh, these items. I am using bottle filled with water. It behaves like convex lens.
let us make this model to make this model you need a plastic jar cardboard pieces you can cut them from old carton bulb holder bulb wire about 1.5 meter long some rough sheets old file for its thick cover scissor tape fevicol scale pencil etc take a plastic jar remove its cap and cut the bottom of the jar like this now take the cap and make a hole in it of the size of the bulb holder you do it carefully now take the bulb bulb holder and the wire and fit the bulb holder in the cap make the connections of the wire to the bulb holder now place the cap over the jar and put the bulb in it now we have to make the jar opaque we can cover it with thick rough papers or we can simply use aluminum foil according to me aluminum foil will be better now take the cardboard pieces and you have to join them like this in front of the bottom of the jar make two windows on the smaller walls of the cuboid to pass light through them cut out the windows now join all the four cardboards with each other using uh, tape now join it to the plastic jar for this also you can use tape
join it from all the four sides now cut out two pieces from the file cover or thick paper cut it to the size of the win window walls of the cardboard box and cut a cut a single thick split a thick slit in the piece which is nearer to the bulb and cut two narrow slits in the other cardboard piece two narrow slits will produce two parallel rays and from the opposite side cut a single narrow slit to form a single ray of light also keep one cardboard piece to cover the box from the top also in this way your ray box is ready make this model for your school project i am sure your teacher will love this model if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel let's think different thanks for watching